morning guys my dogs are so lazy they're still sleeping and i've like again they've got gotten up and gone out but now i was in bed watching a little movie a little bit um and then now i've been on my computer for the past hour and they're still in bed and even now i'm talking there's not even a stir <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Although I realized as I was editing yesterday's video, I was like, wow, that's like a 17 minute video, mostly of my dogs. So, and I know a lot of people like seeing dogs, but I don't know. People don't like seeing them as much as me. I could just, anyway, so I won't, I'll try not to put too much like only dog footage in the videos. Um, but I guess they are a big part of my day, especially yesterday with everything going on. So tea of the day, is it the fifth or the sixth today? It must be the sixth because I don't see a five. Organic, ooh, North African mint. It's not bad. I was hoping for something with caffeine this morning, but that's all right. I did actually already have a cup of coffee. Mm. I wanna peek it tomorrow, see if it's anything better, but I will not. <laughs> All right, and I put this and I turn it over and then, actually I don't know, usually then the backs form a picture here, but, oh yeah, I guess so. So first I just saw these and I'm like, doesn't look like it, but there we got a fox, I think, yes. Same as that, well maybe it's just the same as that. Oh well, all right, mint, I like mint tea, so. Well, that's definitely minty, pretty good, although, I don't know what sets this apart that much from like other mint teas that I have. I think it is a little bit stronger, but also I kind of got distracted and steeped it for like 10 minutes. So that could also be why, but I do like it, but, but for some things like, I don't know, in my opinion, mint tea is, is mint tea, unless you have a really crappy one, but I've had other really good mint teas. So I wouldn't buy this one. Because David's too expensive, but yeah. And the girls here. Hi. So what do I have to do today? I did most of my prepping for teaching already. Um, well, they were still sleeping. Uh, I still have to just wrap the presents for my students. I like, this has been like an ongoing, like three day project. Gosh, just finish it already. Um, and do I feel like going out? Not really. I have a pretty boring life. <laughs> Well, that's why I was like, I'm glad you guys enjoy watching like my day-to-day -day life because unless I like plan for like something Christmassy or something's going on, I don't really do a lot. Um, but I enjoy watching other people's vlogs. Just yes, it kind of gives you a sneak peek into what they do every day. And even if it's just like the boring kind of what seems boring to us, it's still cool to get to have like a sneak peek of someone else's life. But yeah, so I have a lot of reviews to write. So I'll probably do that. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have to test them first and then review. Um, I do Amazon reviews. It started off, I just review my own stuff and then I got coupon codes and now I'm part of like the review program. So I've just been putting it on. I've already typed it. I just have to re-edit it and get, um, I got some Bose headphones. Did I say that right? I'm all tense. I was saying, saying it wrong. Bose? Bose, I think, not Bose. And then we have, whoa, a huge Amazon box there. Um, so I have oh, not one, but two printers, photo printers. So that's my, and then where's, and then this thing. I also, actually, I should test this out. And a Swiffer mop. So that's... I'm excited because then those printers are photo printers and they don't use ink. Well, they use ink, but they don't use ink cartridges. You get like little bottles to fill them up. And they say one of those will last like 7,500 paper, like pages. So that's good. It's kind of a running joke now um, because I've already reviewed two other printers. <laughs> like that one. Except the Epson printer, I love that. I love it, it's wireless. However, I went to look at printer ink because I'm running low because I print a lot for my teaching job. And it's like to get the color and the um, 
black, it's like $180. I was like, are you kidding me? Like I, I have a little Epson one, or not Epson, Canon one that I bought years and years ago. And I complained that the ink is like $40. So, so anyways, the running joke now is, oh, we're running low on printer ink. Let's just get a new printer. <laughs> Obviously we're not actually getting a new printer. We're just, well, we're not buying a new printer. I'm just getting it to review, but yes. So they all look similar, but let's, I don't know the differences between them. I think the 3700 is better than the 7700. Maybe not. That seems opposite. I guess so. Anyway, so I'm going to print a whole bunch of pictures of the dogs to test it out and then just use the rest of it. So I should unbox that. I guess wrapping presents is most important because I have to take those away with me. So I'll do that first and then filming a full video to show what, because I do it every year, what I got my students for Christmas. So although I don't know how interesting it is, but I think it's fun to see. <laughs> so I'm going to do that too. Wrapping presents is taking a lot longer than I thought. I'm only halfway done. And I know I could I just do the ones I need for today because all of my other students, I'm still seeing them next week. But now that I'm doing it, I just want to get it all done. So I'm eating my lunch while I'm wrapping, just having leftover risotto from yesterday. Ah, oh, this is giving me a headache. I have only two more name tags, but now I have an extra one. <laughs> And I thought I was going to be running out of that. Anyways, so I was going to give have to give one of my grade sixes the grade seven and up present. But now I do have to. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm just going to grab the ones that I need for today. And then already start getting ready to go. Oh, and Chloe's in the sunbeam. Hi, little one. That's pretty cute. <laughs> All right, now I'm all ready. I still didn't get around to doing the rest of the presents, but I'm, I know, but I figured out the missing one. There, I did forget a student, so I've added her in, so it'll still work. So I don't want to keep them on the dining table just in case Chloe gets up on it, although realistically she won't. But you never know when it comes to food. She was already sniffing the bag when I was like had it on the floor just to organize things. So everything is kind of on the stove um, right now. Anyways, for tea I'm taking um, holiday chai. And I've heated up the magic bags because that's what they love. Trip Trip is already snuggling with hers. And that's a new one for Cloclo. I know you were barking at all the kids walking by. Well, only when they had dogs. So now the blinds are closed. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys at 7.15. Then I have dance tonight as well, because dance has moved to Wednesday. Where did my tea go? Here we go. Um, so I have that later on. But off to work now. Just, um, just regular snowflake. I got a present. All the kids were so happy with their presents. And like the candy, as soon as they open it, they're all like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> and so I was like, when they were leaving, so I'm like, can't have it now. Um, I did at the end, and I was like, you have to ask mom or dad when you're allowed to eat it. And then they're like, mom, mom, can look what I got. Anyway, uh, uh, and I got a present too. Oh, yay. Um, there's a really cute card, or not cute, beautiful card actually. And the sparkles, you can kind of see, well, you can't really see, but it has glitter on it. Oh, that's such a pretty photo. And then I got a container ah, of Purdy's hot chocolate. So Purdy's is, I think it's a Canadian one, but anyways, it's our Canadian um, chocolatier. Anyways, they have the del most delicious chocolate. Um, and I've never actually tried their hot chocolate, so. I think let me have some tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so that was really sweet. I totally wasn't expecting gifts. So, Duh. Um, yeah. So now I'm gonna make some dinner now. For dinner, I'm having a bunless um, veggie burger. Um, I would have had a lettuce, but I don't have lettuce. I have to go grocery shopping, and I just don't feel like a big heavy bun. Um, I had a lot of rice earlier today, and then because we don't have lettuce, I can't make a salad. I'm just having some of the 
frozen that I've now defrosted. Um, green chickpeas. Green chickpeas? Yes. Um, that I've just added a little bit of garlic in it and some, I think it's like Montreal steak spice, but there's no actual steak in the spice. It's just, it's mostly pepper. Um, yeah. Good. So having this, and then heading off to dance class. I am off to dance class now. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I do tap dance. So the studio is mostly for kids, but they do have two adult classes. So I'm in one of them. So yes, yeah, so off to tap class. I am back from dance class. Oh my goodness, my germs. Oh, my doggies make me feel better. I'm in a grumpy mood from dance class because we're now doing the choreography for our gear and dance, already starting. And when I was younger, like well, when you're younger, the teacher put like puts you in your positions kind of based on your skill level. Like when I, I've taken dance since I was nine years old. And all through when I was younger and even into my teens, I was not one of the best in my class. There were really good people in my class and actually three of the people are now teachers at our studio. Um, anyways, so I was always in like the back corner, um, but like I knew that I wasn't very good um, and I worked my butt off like practicing week to week to try to even just be at that level. Um, anyways, um, so then now that I'm in my adult class, I, and not to brag, but I am one of the stronger dancers. Um, I do practice, I practice from week to week, and so when I come back the next week, I remember what the teacher taught us last week, whereas most people don't, and then the teacher teaches again, I'm like, anyway, but I still try really hard, but also a lot of the people in my class, they either, um, we've all taken lessons like as a child, as children, and then they went off to university or something and stopped, or a lot of them started families, a lot of them have like six, seven, eight year old children, um, and so they took a lot of years off, um, whereas obviously I didn't, so I've been taking dance ever since, so I feel that I am one of the stronger dancers. So now, but because in adult classes they don't really I don't know, the teacher, well, at least our teacher isn't like placing, okay, you're one of the better ones, so you go front and center. She kind of leaves it up to us. So she's like, all right, who wants to be in the first group, which is front and center? And I was like, I do. And then, but because I am quiet and not obnoxiously loud and outgoing, I am not heard. And the people are like, me, I'm in the first group. And then they're like, Sarah, come join me in the first group they're in the first group and then there's a couple of other people and you know and, and then they're all friends a lot of people go out for coffee ahead of time and so they're like oh Rebecca come join our group and I'm just using other names but anyways you know so anyways I'm in the third group and which is kind of in the back because there's only four groups and the first two are right in front <laughs> anyways now that I'm saying it it sounds very petty like it doesn't really matter it's just for the year in concert or the year in show, but it just, I don't know. If it was that the teacher put me in that group because of my skill level, all right, it is what it is. But the only reason I'm in that group and in the back is because I wasn't loud enough to say that I wanna be in the first group because I don't know, I am, I am quieter. I am one of the quieter ones. Anyway, so I'm just frustrated because I wanted to be, I love performing. I love being in the front and now going forward in my group they're are they're okay but they're not the absolute best like last year we were in groups and my group were one of the stronger people and we did like a turning sequence and stuff and all the people in my group and this year none of them are the ones that did the turning sequence so yeah and like the teacher is aware that I'm good. I don't want to, like we have a student teacher or like a teacher helper, I guess. And when she's not around, um, the teacher gets me to stand up at the front. So if people can't see the actual teacher, they can follow my footwork because for the most part, I usually know what I'm doing, you know, so the teacher's aware of that. And I don't know, it's just frustrating. And I'm 31. I should not be upset about this kind of stuff, but I work really hard. I do practice from week to week and I practiced the stuff because she taught the first group stuff last week and I practiced it and I knew it exactly. And then now other people are in it and she's going over the steps and I'm like, I knew that part already because that's, that's what she taught last time. Anyways, 
doesn't matter. I'm just in such a grumpy mood. <sighs> but, oh well. I have my dogs that are like, Mom, you're crazy. Why are you being so ridiculous? I know. Blah. I'm going to FaceTime with Dan and he'll be like, you're being ridiculous. And I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. I hope we switch, not switch groups, not now I'm in that group to start with, but I hope like as the dance go on, we change or like intermingled with the groups. So, I don't know. I'm in such a bad mood. Ugh, I should not let this get to me. Anyways, now, actually I think, well, I'm feeling, my tummy hurts a little bit. Otherwise I'd feel like making that Purdy's hot cocoa. No, I don't really. Uh, Dan just texted me. Are you home yet? It is 10.15. Yes, our dance class usually goes to 9.45, but it went to about 10 or 9.55 today. Anyways, I'm going to have to... I don't have much to prep for tomorrow. Actually, I think I'm all prepped. I'm going to finish wrapping the rest of those crazy presents. <laughs> There's way too many presents. Um, yeah. Grumpy day. But the rest of my day was good. My teaching day was awesome. Because it was the last lesson, everyone loved their presents. And we did um, a little, just like... Uh, a tiny thing. Usually, you know, we just focus on everything that we have to, but we did Mad Libs. Um, just one, and I like, anyway, so it was a Christmas Mad Libs. And, well, some of my, of course, I have like grade three boys, and there, I was like, we cannot use dirty words. One wanted to say poop. I'm like, no, I made him erase it. And I was like, so anyways, he changed it to booger. And I was like, Fine. Anyways, and then he's reading it, and he's like, it's all Christmas. He's like, Dear Santa, it's me. I'm the little booger who sat on your knee at the mall. I'm like, <sighs> no, and I was like, are you regretting your choice? And he's like, and then it was like, I want a yucky um, this, or in a, in a, like, I've been so stinky this year. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure one of my students almost peed his, I, I think he did pee his pants. I should not be laughing. But it was very funny. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was nice to end kind of the year for the holiday on like such a positive fun note because the past we did all of our like technical stuff that we needed to do. Yeah, we did. Um, so then it was fun to get to end with a really <laughs> upbeat thing. Oh, dear. Anyways, that's going to be it tonight. I've just been chatting for the past seven minutes. You heard my dance rant. Um, and yes, we shall... Talk to you later. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I have vet in the morning and then teaching in the afternoon evening. So it's a busy day. <laughs> Just had to do an update. This hot chocolate is amazing. I haven't had hot chocolate in a long time like that you make. Probably the last one was like carnation that was like five years old or something. Anyways, this is so good. It's so decadent. I love it. Anyways, so yes, that's it today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.